You, finding life pretty dull, dreaming again of exotic places, wishing you were somewhere else, we offer you Escape. Escape, designed to free you from the four walls of today for a half hour of high adventure. Escape with us now to a puppet kingdom in the heart of the Belgian Congo and a man who challenged that kingdom because of dream. As Gil Dowd and Anthony Ellis tell it in their most unusual story, The Power of Hammer. Play it again. Oh, Sam, I have played it for you ten times already. It's a jukebox, isn't it? I'm paying. Play it again. I like it. So, I play it again. <sighs> we hear something else now. You Mister, I like that song. Get some water. That's better. Felt good when I hit it. Hurt my hand now. That's all right. Lousy whiskey. Lousy bar. Lousy conga. I must be drunk. Must be, I am. Kerrigan, you're drunk. I like that song. Wish I was back in the States. Wish I could see Alice. Alice. Gotta get out of here. Hey! Uh, yes, Sam. Here's for your broken table. Here's for your whiskey. That enough? Oh, it's all right. It's not your fault. I have another mule train for you next time you come to Monaco. Where do we go from here, boys? Where do we go from here? Hey, Sam, where you go? You strong man, you stay with me on. We have good time. Hey, dog, you got a friend for me? (laughs) Mr. Kerrigan? Ah, sure. You will come with us, please? What for? The inspector will tell you. Come with us, please. Inspector Fernick? Oh, yes. You can wait outside. Come in, Mr. Kerrigan. Sit down, please. What's the charge? No charge, Mr. Kerrigan. Government business. I have received a cable ordering me to extradite a man named Benjamin Hammer. Have you ever heard of him? No. We believe that he is somewhere in this territory, possibly west of Muyumba, across the Rwalaba River. Uh Uh-huh. Fifteen years ago, he embezzled money in Brussels and, incidentally, killed a man. Took a long time to get him. But we think we have now. Have you heard of a white man who calls himself a king and has made himself responsible for several thousand Bahuto tribesmen? I've heard rumors. That man may be Benjamin Hammer. I want you to take me into his kingdom. Across the Lua Laba? Not me. Kerrigan... You are the only guide in the Belgian Congo who is familiar with that country. Surely you have taken hunting parties in there before? That's right, and I'm not going back. 
You will be well paid? Not well enough. Sorry. Uh, just a moment. As a guide and a hunter, Mr. Kergian, you realize that you are licensed by the government, and here I am the government. So I moved to another territory. This lousy Congo is all the same. You are an alien, my friend, and without my help, it may be difficult to obtain a license anywhere. Look, Inspector, this is for your own good. It's bad in there, real bad. You mean the natives? Yeah. You wouldn't get ten miles beyond the river. I am aware of the hostility of the natives, Mr. Kerrigan. This is my territory. But we won't be going in alone. Oh? There'll be 40 of us. Your Bantu boys? And two machine guns. <laughs> this is funny. You're blackmailing me. Not at all. You will be paid. That's what I mean. Okay, it's your funeral. your stinking, polluted Lua Lava River, Fernak. There's your jungle. I recognize it, Mr. Kerrigan. I have been here before. You've been to Mayumba, but you haven't gone across the river. We shall unload the trucks now and leave tomorrow at dawn. The Bantus have instructions not to fraternize with the villagers, and I wish you two to remain silent about our mission. Sure, but you listen tonight. You'll hear the drums talking. There's no such word as secret here. One more thing, Kerrigan. As long as you are in the employ of the Belgian government... You will try to remain sober. Sergeant Labatt. Yes, sir. Unload the trucks and post the guard about them. Careful of that box. Sure. Be careful of everything. Unload the trucks. Post a guard. If you really want to be careful, go back to Manono, boy. Back to Manono. But you won't go back, you fat little fernac. And you may lose more than your weight. My Yumba. All the villages at night. Hot. Stink. Never sleep. <laughs> Wonder if Fernak's listening. Wonder if he's awake. You hear the drums, Fernak? Did you ever hear a drum talking? Well, I did. <laughs> Many soldiers with guns crossing the river before the sun. They come to the kingdom of Hammer. Can you hear that, Fernak? <laughs> Eh, better have a drink. Maybe sleep. The column is full, sir. Very good. Uh, the Kerrigan and I will take the point. Instruct the men to maintain two pace intervals. And by this take cover. Kerrigan? Yeah. Were you asleep? No, just last smoke. Mr. Kerrigan, one of my Bantu sergeants says that he understands the language of the drums. Wouldn't be surprised. He says that they are telling the king that we are coming. I figures. The king's name is Hammer. And I guess you were right. I think that you have known that all the time. You were too anxious to stop us from coming here. You've got a suspicious mind, Fernak. I told you why I didn't want to guide you. It's dangerous. You don't know what you're getting into. Better go back to your desk and your rubber stamp. I have brought my stamp with me. The seal of the Belgian government. I am that government. On the other side of the river, maybe, but not here. There's a king by the name of Hammer. I have got 40 trained soldiers. What if his men are more loyal than your tame Bantos? At the pace we set today, how long do you think it will take us? 
Oh, with luck, four more days, maybe five. Remember, I've never been here before. So you said. Good night, Mr. Kelly. Hey, Farnack. Yes? I wouldn't move around too much in the dark. Don't be afraid, Mr. Kerrigan. We are well guarded. I've posted six men with our machine guns. Okay, I won't be afraid. See what happened? No. Their funeral, not mine. Inspector! Inspector! What is it, sir? They said they are dead, all of them. Machine gun scar. What? Show me. It is sir. Lucky it wasn't you, fat little Fernak. I told you it was dangerous. You wouldn't listen, would you? Hope you haven't had breakfast yet. You won't like what you see. Better go back. Back to Manono for you, boy. Kerrigan! 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 What's the matter? The sentries. Dead, huh? You look a little green. You are possibly more used to it than I am, Mr. Kerrigan. They were beheaded. The machine guns were stolen. Gonna turn back? No. I want you to take a searching party. I give you ten men. (laughs) Search for what? If you're a hunter, you can follow tracks. Sure I can, and you know what I'll find? Not your machine guns. Six heads stuck up on poles. That's what they did it for, to warn us off. They could have wiped out the whole camp if they wanted. You better go home, Fernak. We go on. Sergeant Robert. Yes, sir. Home the column as quickly as possible. We are moving on. Should have gone back that first morning. You've got guts, though. You'll need them. We'll get there, all right. They haven't hit a white man. Hammer's saving something special for us. Something special for me. You all right, Fernak? Yes. How many this time? I don't know. Sergeant? Yes, sir. Casualties? Yes, sir, sir. That leaves three Bantus, you, Labatt, and me. What's the matter? You ready to turn around now? I want to get Hammer. If I do go back, it will only be to get 200 men. Forget it. This was the last attack. How do you know? Are you kidding? Why should he be afraid of you now? He's left us three Bantus for porters. How do you expect to drag him back to Monono with an army like that? He'll let us in, all right. Let's get moving. changed since the last time. Clearing, stockade, house. There's the room. A night I can't forget. Sam. Sam, don't go away unless you take me with you. I can't stand him. Oh, Sam, take me back. I want to be with you. You should have thought of that before. You wanted Ben. You got him. I wonder what you're like now. Afraid of him. Sam Kerrigan scared. <laughs> You're scared. You're scared. You were right, Alice. I was afraid. I still am. Now I'm back. My name is Benjamin Hammer. You are Inspector... Ah, yes. The message of the drums was unable to cope with the name. Mr. Carrigan. Hello, Ben. I'm surprised to see you. I thought I made it clear at our last meeting that I should kill you if you returned. You had your chance. Why didn't you? I don't understand. Skip it. Benjamin Hummer, I have here a warrant for your arrest on a charge of embezzlement and murder to which will be added responsibility for the death of 37 government soldiers. Responsibility? Your responsibility, Inspector, not mine. 
You should have known better than to enter Bahutu country. Kerrigan knows how savage the natives are, didn't he tell you? I suppose not. Mr. Kerrigan is a deceitful man. You mustn't trust him. I don't. Well, before you drag me off to my doom, I should imagine that a bath and a cooling drink would be in order. Come along. You too, Sergeant. I want you to meet my wife. My men will take care of your bantus. Little fat man. You're not afraid of him. Are you crazy? How are you going to do it? How do you arrest a king? Hot bath, cool drink, supper. And then any hour, any day he wants it. Goodbye, Sergeant Labatt. Goodbye, Inspector Governmental Furnack. Goodbye, Kerrigan. Alice, waiting like a wife at the door. Alice, I've made you smile. Warm, red. I know those arms. I know you, Alice. Soft, dark, gardenias. Frightened? Who are you looking at? You're looking at me. My dear, I should like you to meet Inspector Fernack. He's come to arrest me. How do you do? Madame. And Sergeant... Uh, Labat. Labat. Sergeant? Mr. Kerrigan, you know, don't you? Yes, sir. Now run along and prepare food for our guests. Yes, sir. Inspector, I have prepared a room for you and the sergeant at the end of the corridor. Kerrigan, I don't imagine you mind going back into your old room, filled with memories, eh? Show them the way, will you? I don't mind. When you've had your baths and feel up to it, we'll take supper on the veranda. Why did you say you'd never been here before? What does it matter? You knew he was wanted, didn't you? No. To me, he was a guy who paid well for trade goods and told me to keep my mouth shut about his setup. I did because it was good business. How long have you known him? Five years. Six. Haven't been here for over a year, though. Why did he speak of killing you if you returned? That's none of your business. I'll make it my business when we return to Manono. Yeah, you do that, Fernak. when we get back. <laughs> Go to bed, Kerrigan. What for? She calls him Sir. Sir. He treated her like one of the Bahutu's servants. Doesn't eat at the table. Slave? When did that happen? A year ago, after he found out about us. Sure. Wonder if she's with him now. Have a drink. What's the use... Where are you? Where are you? Wish I hadn't done that. Alice? No. Little fat Fernak. Fernak. No, don't touch me. Alice, Alice. No, you mustn't. I can't stand being touched. You don't know what it's been like with him since you left. Oh, why didn't you take me with you then? You know why. He would have had his natives on us before we'd gone a mile. But why did he let me go? Don't you know? So that he could do what he's done to me. So that I could think about you outside, alive, and want you. So that he could do these things that I can't tell. Look at me. It would have been better for both of us if we'd tried to run away and he'd killed us. Oh, it doesn't matter now. Yes, it does. We'll try it. Come with me. No, I couldn't go with you now. There might be a chance. Does he know you're here? I suppose so. He knows everything about me. He left you your guns, didn't he? Yeah, he would. You know that. I want you to give me yours. I can't do that. I've got to kill him. I've waited a year for the chance. It's made me want to live, to kill him. He's been so sure, so safe, because he's so strong. But with a gun, I can kill him. 
I'll show him he's not a god. I'll show the natives he's not a god. Give me the gun. No. You loved me once. If you still do, do as I ask. I still do. That's why I want to take you away. You're afraid. You're still afraid. Give me the gun. I've got to. I've got to. Alice, no. Alice. No. Don't touch me. I can't stand you. Filthy. Dirty. Hold her. No, don't touch. Another night, though, yes. Gardenias. Waiting a year. Waiting. Not for Sam. Not for Sam. Waiting for a gun. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Alice, I've got to think. There may be a way. I'll talk to Fernak. We'll figure out something. Maybe tomorrow. He'll kill you all tomorrow. Alice! How does she know we die tomorrow? Leave me alone. I want to talk to you. Get out of here, Fernak. Leave me alone. What did she tell you? Nothing. You're lying. Get out! What did she tell you? Why did he leave us with our guns? Why have we still got our guns? Because that's the way he is. So we shoot him. How do you want to die after? It won't be easy like being shot. I've seen what the Bahudus can do to you. And he knows I've seen it. I do not want to die, Mr. Kerrigan, but the Belgian government has seen fit to name me as its representative. If I am unable to arrest Hammer and take him back for trial, I shall have to shoot him here. You wouldn't have a chance. You've seen his guards of honor. He's their god, the immortal king, Ben Hammer. That's how he rules them. They think he can't be hurt, and he can't. Mr. Kerrigan, knowing this about him, why did you come back? Don't you remember you blackmailed me into it? I don't believe that. It was the wife, wasn't it? Yeah. The wife. I guess I would have come back someday anyhow. It's strange, Mr. Kerrigan. We seem to have parallel missions. Mine to take him out, yours to take her. Yeah. Too bad, isn't it? More coffee, Inspector? No, thank you. Sergeant? Uh, no. I don't want any more. Well, then breakfast is finished. Mr. Hammer, I think the time has now come to start back for Manolo. <laughs> you know I rather admire you. You must realize your position here, and yet with stubborn zeal you persist with this farce and... Uh, please, don't touch your gun. It's all right, Egale. I don't want to see you killed that way. I have other plans. Then I have nothing to lose. As you wish, Inspector. Draw your gun. That's better. It is difficult to set in motion your own execution, isn't it? Mr. Kerrigan knows that. Come, we'll go out on the veranda. I want to show you something. These natives you see are the chieftains of my kingdom. I call them together to witness my decree. Hear me, wise Bahutos. These two white men in uniform have been sent to dethrone me by a government that thinks itself stronger than I, your king. Igali, seize them! Get your hands off it, you my reply to this insolence is to return them to the country in humiliation, bound and across the back of an ox. What about me, Ben? I have something to say about this. You, Kerrigan? Oh, yes, you have a gun. No, no, let him, Igale, let him. I know Mr. Kerrigan. Do you, Ben? Are you sure? Tell your men to release the inspector and the sergeant. And if I don't? I'll give you 30 seconds, and if you don't, I'll shoot you. You'd like to kill me because of her, wouldn't you? But it wouldn't do you any good now. She wanted to do that. Go ahead. Shoot. Shall I tell you what they'll do to you then? They'll stake you naked to the ground and smear honey over you. Then the ants will come. First one, then two, then more. Your hand's shaking, Kerrigan. And when the ants are nearly finished, you'll be screaming then. They'll take sharp little sticks and they'll... Hold on! Hold on! Uh... 
You a golly. Let them go. Don't look at me, look at them. They aren't doing anything. Just watching. King. King. You stand up. Him not stand up. Him not dead. He say he cannot die. No man kill him. He tell us when he come here. He show us. He drink poison from our arrows. He was no god, Egali. He was no king. He's dead. Go look at him. He no god. He no king. He dead. With me, we have good time. Oh, hello, Sam. Uh, for yourself. You've come back. Yeah. I uh, didn't forget your song. You've come back so soon. Now, I play you another you like. Okay. Afraid. You're still afraid. Give me the gun. I've got to. I've got to. Alice, did you try anyway without a gun? You knew he was stronger than you. You were lying there broken. I touched you. Don't touch me. I can't stand you. Or did Hammer kill you because you came to see me? But it wasn't me, was it? It was the gun you wanted. A year ago, I should have killed him then. Why didn't you take me with you then? Why didn't you take me with you then? Uh, you like the song, Sam? Sure, fine. Uh, can I bring you something? Yeah, a bottle. I'm gonna get drunk if you don't mind. <laughs> Escape is produced and directed by Norman MacDonald. Today, we have brought you The Power of Hammer by Gil Dowd and Anthony Ellis, with Harry Bartell starred as Sam. Featured in the cast were Edgar Berrier, Vivi Janis, and Stan Waxman, with Ann Morrison, Jack Crucian, Lou Krugman, and Don Diamond. The special music for Escape was arranged and played by Ivan Dittmars. Next week, Escape with us to the year 100,080 and a world where beauty and terror live side by side, as H.G. Wells described it in his immortal story, The Time Machine. Now that color television is definitely coming, should you buy a television set? What about your present TV set? Frank Stanton, president of the Columbia Broadcasting System, gives you answers to these and other vital questions about color television today at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't miss this informative talk about color television over most of these same CBS stations. Now, stay tuned for Make Believe Town, which follows immediately over most of these same CBS stations. This is Roy Rowan speaking. <laughs> This is CBS, where you laugh at Jack Benny every Sunday night at the Columbia Broadcasting System.